ethical issues to anticipate in quantitative research. When making a research project, rigorously applied scientific method is not enough, but it must also comply with ethical aspects. Let us go back to the historical background of ethics regulations. The 1949 Nuremberg Code is the first international codification of the minimal expectations for the conduct of research involving human subjects. There were three basic elements, voluntary informed consent, favorable risk-benefit analysis, and the right to withdraw without repercussions. There was also the 1964 Declaration of Helsinki. It is a set of ethical principles regarding human experimentations. It is widely regarded as the cornerstone document on human research ethics. In 1974, the National Research Act of 1974 was signed. It created the National Commission for Protection of Human Subjects of Biomedical and Behavioral Research, which led to the 1979 Belmont Report that states three fundamental principles for conducting human subject research. One is respect for persons. Two is beneficence. And three is justice. The 1982 International Guidelines proposed for biomedical research on human beings was then published. It is our guidelines aim to present an effective method for the application of ethical principles contained in the Nuremberg Code and in the Declaration of Helsinki for the protection of specific communities or populations and not only to protect isolated individuals in developing countries. In the year 2000, Ezekiel Emanuel, an American oncologist, bioethicist, and senior fellow at the Center for American Progress, proposes seven requirements that the clinical research should comply with to be ethical. Social value, the value of the study. Are bibliographies accurate and updated? to justify the knowledge gap related to the research question posed or the need for further studies. It also aims to prevent exploitation of the participants from potential risks and harms. Researchers here should have necessary skills, knowledge, and experience. Scientific validity. Consideration must be given not only to the results of the study, but also the rigor of the research. Rigor refers to to the extent to which the researchers work to enhance quality of the studies. In quantitative research, this is achieved through measurement of the validity and reliability. Equitable selection of participants. All participants must have an equal possibility to participate from the study. There should be non-existence of favored and not favored groups. Favorable risk-benefit ratio. The golden rule applies minimum risk versus greater benefit. Independent assessment. Before starting research, the research must be reviewed by independent ethics committee, which checks the appropriateness of study and that there should be no conflict of interest. Informed consent is the process of telling potential research participants about the key elements of a research study and what their participation will involve. The informed consent process is one of the central components of the ethical conduct of research with human subjects. Respect of research participants. Respect dignity of participants. The safeguard of confidentiality is also here maintains the anonymity of participants. According to Wiles and Bodhi, research ethics can encourage researchers not only to improve levels of ethical literacy in the research community, but more fundamentally, to reflect deeply on the research and project and process from the perspective of all the possible stakeholders.